All right, here we are at 2646 uh, Orange Grove. I believe it was Orange Grove. Um, just down the street from the entrance in the clubhouse. Got a little screen entry, double door there, which is nice. Stairs upstairs as soon as you come in. It's got a little storage under the stairs there, which is nice. This door is to your half bath here. Okay, half bath downstairs, which you need because it's the only bath you got downstairs. Got laminate floors here in the main kind of TV area that abuts up to the kitchen. Uh, to my right was the garage. They got a nice clean surface for the garage, which is nice, and an access door out, which is good as well. Uh, double doors that head out to the pool and patio area. Say hi. Hi, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> so here's your brick paver um, patio area. You got it's fenced after that, which is really nice. You got a lake view out there, which we'll see a little bit better from the upstairs. Uh, pool's pretty cool. You got a little sun deck over there to sit on, um, and Riley can sit and chill out. So it's a good shape. Pool pump is newer too. Pool pump is newer. We got a little covered space here. Um, here's your kitchen. You got a little bar area there to sit at. You got an island uh, pantry. You got kind of a double pantry. The negatives. In general, the things that need money to be spent on are light fixtures throughout. There's no light fixture there, there's no light fixture there. Um, no fridge, basically need new appliances. No window coverings for the house. Um, it's been freshly carpeted, freshly painted, so that has been done already. But like I said, we're looking at between appliances, window coverings, light fixtures throughout, you know, you're probably looking at 10 grand, um, you know, so that's just something to keep in mind because there is a little bit of work to be done. You know, cosmetically, this place is in pretty good shape. Um, all the bedrooms are upstairs, which is nice. It is a foreclosure property, so you know, there's probably not much room to negotiate there. You know, we can try to get them down as much as possible, but typically they don't. That's the laundry room to my right as soon as I came up. Big, giant master bedroom. You got space out there for a little home office or I don't know what else you do with it. Home office is really the best thing to do. Really, really cool view from up here. Like I said, you're close to the entrance, um, close to the clubhouse, little pool, basketball court, double sinks here. Tub. Went a little cheap on the shower you know pretty plain jane as far as that goes so could work on the shower door could work on some fixtures in there um let's see what else big giant closet holy cow lisa's gonna move into this closet and sleep when she's mad at you okay i mean just absurdly big closet i mean good god you can turn that into a nursery. You can turn that into a separate bedroom if you wanted to. Um, so all the bedrooms are upstairs. Not much to see in the bedrooms. You know, like again, yeah, you need fans, light fixtures, window coverings for all these rooms. Okay, so that's the work that needs to be done. Guest bath is small, pretty plain, but you know it serves its purpose. Tub for the kids. So. It's a really, really functional floor plan, okay? It just um, just needs a little bit of work to finish it off. You know, the white Corian countertops probably aren't my favorite, but you know, I think you probably live with it for a year or two and you know, spend your money elsewhere getting it, getting it ready. Um, like I said, it's fenced all around back, which is nice. Got a nice eating kitchen, eating kitchen space here. Really, really neat. There it is, been looking back over the kitchen in the main TV room against that wall over there. Okay, that's it.